Game number two, ladies and gentlemen, of VWO 50 versus 07. 07 wins, they move on to winner's bracket semifinals. VWO 50 wins, we go to a game three. VWO 50 has brought Gearing, Kleber, Ragnar, Kleber, Marseille, Nevsky, Petro, St. Vincent, and Ohio. 07 has brought Ragnar, Kleber, Gearing, Petro, Nevsky, Stalingrad, Moskva, St. Vincent, Conqueror. For liberty and justice. So let's take a look at the overview as we watch this to see where people go because there is still plenty of time. Looks like we're not going to see anyone except for maybe a Ragnar heading into B, but we'll keep an eye out because that could change, obviously. So we will keep a weather eye out. Now, as we look into this, because I like to sit there and watch a little bit at the beginning, Ragnar of Tuna Can Sam going to head into B, or at least look towards it early on. Kleber Petro running towards A. Kleber of Mad Dog will not get there as early as good or top-geared. Both of them, well, might be top-geared, but he will be in a 1v2 against Kleber's, which doesn't feel that great for him. We are seeing a heavier push for the side of 07 towards the... Charlie cap, so we'll have to watch to see how successful that cap take is. Because that can be a challenging one to occur. Now, first Colbert has gone wide for good, although too bad. So Top Geared is going to push in. Petro of BFK will have radar on both of them, depending on timings. And spotted, the Colbert spot each other. There's the shots. Top Gear doesn't open up. So, ooh, 4,000 in change from one shot of good. Though he does burn a reload booster that he can't use because he drifts out. Kleber spotted by the radar. We'll see if Top Geared is going to be opened up on by Mad Dog. But Mad Dog being down to 19,800 means he may not want to take that fight against two separate French DDs. Ragnar of Tudikim backing into B. Stalingrad of John the Ruthless also up there to support. And the Ragnar of uh, Just is going to be in a rough spot if he's not careful. Gearing smoking up the Nevsky. They're going to push forward. They will see these Torps coming. But we'll see if that's enough for the uh, Nevsky to, to dodge. Looks like the Nevsky's turning out and will safely dodge regardless. Gearing is going to be A-OK. -okay. SAT uh, is, of course, a phenomenal DD player. I play a lot with him on stream whenever I get the chance. So always enjoy that. But... We'll see. St Nevsky gonna go backwards. He will dodge the Torps because of that. And VWO. Looking for it. Ooh, big hit by VWO onto the Conqueror. I mean, it as far as it goes, 23,000 on a Conqueror doesn't feel the greatest because it can print a ship. But damage helps, and they got damage. Early cap advantage looks like it's gonna go the way of VWO 50. They should get A cap before B cap is taken. Well, we'll see. If this reset happens, that reset happens in that. Will be the early advantage instead towards 07.
Now, Tudica and Sam spotted force back, so neither cap taken, even though both teams had a very strong chance to take it. Getting the Tuna Can down to 22,500 feels good, though the Colbert of Good has been absolutely walloped. Now he's going to use the Reload Booster and just spam down that Moskva. Moskva down to 38,000. Doesn't have a DCP. Heal is running right now, but he's taken a lot of damage. And he is on a single fire right now but he's down to 32,000 he's climbing up a little bit but that fire is going to last longer than that heal and so he'll max out at about 34,000 and then he's just going to tick right back down right at 34,000 as the fire ends and now the Petro of Battle, though too bad, pushing into A. They don't have A yet, but they're being aggressive trying to get control of the Thunderdome so that they can push forward. Early health advantage of about 60k towards the side of 07, but definitely some bright spots for VWO. VWO looking very strong here on the A flank. And Petro uses the radar they'll spot the ragnar i don't know if it'll be quick enough for shells to go out looks like it will not there will be the first cap going on to b and now the ragnar gonna retreat just has spotted and will start to shoot him out but it's a little too late it won't count in stopping him and so the caps are taken at the similar times 07 with a four point lead some nice hits onto that Ragnar of Tuna Cam. He hasn't used the heal yet or the uses the DCP there down, but down to 17,000 before the heal. And using a heal means that he will have a notable disadvantage when fighting just next time. Moskva down to 12,000 and burning. Petro sitting in there at 30,000 trying to heal up. And it looks like BFK is trying to protect Grass Fed. Grass Fed, though, in a problem spot. Clubbears have spotted each other. Will Mad Dog go down? Mad Dog at 5,000. Top Geared at 12,000. Who's going to win the fight, ladies and gentlemen? Top Geared trying not to shoot so he stays dark. Marseille doesn't have a reload booster. Here come the shells out. Top Geared ends up about the same health as Mad Dog. And now the fight goes. And here we go. Big hits. Mad Dog down to 1,200. Hasn't used the DCP yet. He's down to 800. He doesn't have a DCP. And ladies and gentlemen, first blood goes to the side of VWO. They're trying to respond. 07 is. They want to get the Kleber of Top Gear down. They've got him at 600. Looks like he's going to die to that fire in time, ladies and gentlemen. No, the fire doesn't kill. And now the Kleber is playing for any extra damage he can get because he is going to go down here he's at 400 health everybody trying to kill him he's just drifting on that line edge to try to stay alive still not dead that's big if he gets out of this somehow still alive no he will not the conqueror of peyton finds him but that Kleber survived longer than he had any right to and that means that the moskva of grassfed goes down and it's two to one vwo 50. but two caps to one on the side of 07. Now, with that being said, A has been taken by VWO. They're going to start to push forward. That's going to pinch BFK right there, and he's going to be in a rock and a hard place where he has to be careful. Conqueror of Peyton going to be able to continue to move away and do damage as he wants to as he retreats. He's used a heal. He can max out his health at about 74,000. Expect to see a DCP right here as a big chunk comes off the St. Vincent. No fire, so no DCP. Nevsky of no power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. Nevsky of no power. He takes a torp. He's down to 4,800. He uses the heal. He uses the DCP. He'll be alive, but he's very low. And that health lead is now over 100,000 in favor of 07, despite the fact that they are down a ship. St. Vincent and Marseille looking towards the Conqueror right now. Petro backing up. Marseille starts to look over at the Petro and try to get him. Gets a shot in on him. Not a great damage hit. Petro still at 40,000 backing up. Chunk down to 37,000. Marseille hasn't used that reload booster yet. Petro now moving forward. Marseille has not shot. And now we keep an eye out to see how much damage that Ohio can do.
Now, Ragnar, Tuna Can Sam. Not spotted, able to do work. The Petro down to 35,000, but look at the damage on that St. Vincent. Using up his last heal. 25,000 shots are in. Oh, and it's a massive hit. He's down to 12,000. No, oh, the Marseille gets deleted by BFK. That ties up the uh, ship count. And now it's a 120 point lead for 07. 07 putting their foot on the gas pedal. They're up by almost double the HP of their opponent. And they're looking to finish this one and send themselves to the winner's bracket semifinals. John the Ruthless dodges the shots in on him. The St. Vincent down to 5,000, down to 1,300. Hasn't DCP'd, but he doesn't have a heal. That's his max health. Anybody even breathes on that man? He might be dead. Shots out from distance. Are they going to hit? And they do, and that's a third kill for the side of 07. And they are taking a commanding lead in this match. They have command of all of the areas of the map they need right now, ladies and gentlemen. And 07 doesn't even have to push. They win in four minutes without doing anything. The only danger for 07 is that they make a mistake here and let a ship get killed with like a dev strike. And I don't see that happening. Petro shells in, does get 8k off the St. Vincent. But 07 looks strong. VW050 attempting to regroup. The gearing smoking up. Gonna draw a line across, try to keep the Nevsky protected. Nevsky has one heal left, he also has a DCP. He's down to 14,000. They spot SAT, they look for SAT. Shots are out on SAT, no dice on the first ones. Second salvo out. No dice on the second ones, and Nevsky now down to 10,000. He's used his DCP, his last heal is running right now. He's gotta be very, very careful. And that health lead is now over 200,000, ladies and gentlemen. It just continues to grow. 750 points passed for the side of 07. Three minutes until victory. VWO needs a miracle at this point. Everything is at stake. The enemy's victory draws near. Ohio of Contrail using his last heal. DCP's ready, pushing up. But you can see VWO, they're pushing up because they know that's their only hope. They're going to push up and in. They're going to challenge on B. That'll give them at least another two and a half minutes of time before kills. That they can work with. But how long does the Ohio last? Ohio's using his final heal. He maxes out at 22,000. Ragnar working on him. Shots coming down the lane from the Conqueror. Brings him back down under 20k permanently. And 800 plus points now for the side of 07. Here comes the push into A. A is being contested. Ohio down to 1200. He's got six seconds left on the DCP. He's down to 10,000. Pardon me. I said 1200, not 12,000 earlier. Shots out from the conk in the Petro. 6,300. And ladies and gentlemen, that kill is going to bring them over 900 points or just about. 07 up by two ships, up by 215,000 health. And looking forward to the semifinals. Last gasps from VWO. They are looking to try to salvage something, anything, but it's just gonna be too little, too late. Petro down to 11,000, doesn't have a healer or DCP. He's gonna burn down, ladies and gentlemen, and that'll take them over 970 points when he does. There he goes, 980 points, all three caps. It is three seconds, ladies and gentlemen. And 07 will win the game, and they will win the series 2-0. GG, well played to both teams, but 07 just that much stronger today. Take the series 2-0.